Hey guys, and welcome back to Hacks. I'm your host, Jimmy Warshawski, and today's episode is all about an ingredient that is, um, let's say, a little bit near and dear to my heart. The only question is, which came first? Today's category is the egg. excited to get the apron that I just take it out and a few eggs fall on the floor but um oh well I got my apron <laughs> so if we're gonna be talking about eggs though you should have a basic understanding of what the types of eggs are so here they are there's hard-boiled soft-boiled omelet frittata hash sunny side up over easy over medium over hard poached baked basted and as we all know and love scrambled now don't worry we won't be talking about all of these eggs in today's episode we'll be focusing on the hard-boiled egg, the omelet, the poached egg, and eggs in general, of course. Now, before we start, I thought I'd show you a really cool trick to test if your eggs are fresh. So take your egg and drop it in a glass of water. If the egg sinks to the bottom, you've got a fresh egg. If it floats to the top, time to throw it away. Now, sometimes recipe calls for just an egg white or just an egg yolk. Well, I have a trick for separating them. Well, when I was on the show, I had to separate over 45 eggs for the meringue challenge. But then again, that method might not have been the most, how do you say, efficient. Take a look. On your marks, get set, and go. You're looking for speed and quality. What would your strategy be on the show? Separate all your eggs and get every machine working. Multitask. Mm -hmm. Do it, Jimmy! Come on, Jimmy! Crack it! Come on, come on. It has yolk. Well, it's imperative you don't get any yolk inside that egg white. Otherwise, it takes a little bit longer to whip. You don't get that momentum. Jimmy's got three more pies to go! Go, Jimmy! I'm, like, so close, and I'm thinking, if I win this, not only do I get to put a pie in Graham Elliott's face, but I also get a big advantage in the next round. Done, 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 done. Really nice job. So here's my method for separating eggs. You're gonna take a clear plastic water bottle or any squeezable bottle and put it over an egg that you cracked onto a plate. Squeeze the bottle and lift the egg yolk up, just like you see here. It's actually really fun. You can kind of play around with it and do some funky stuff. Well, since today we're gonna to be talking a lot about peeling hard-boiled eggs, I thought I'd tell you how I make my perfect hard-boiled egg. So you're gonna take a pot and fill it with cold water. Then drop however many eggs you want carefully into that water. I'm using 12. Then bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, remove from heat and cover for 10 minutes. Then you should have your perfect hard-boiled egg. And now you're ready to peel it. So today I have two methods of peeling a hard-boiled egg for you. The first one is a lot of fun. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a glass, kinda like you were using before for the fresh egg test, and you're gonna fill it with a tiny bit of water. Then drop your egg straight into that. Cover the top with plastic wrap if you have it, but if you don't, that's okay. So then put your hand on the top of the glass and shake, 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 shake for a little bit of while. Shake it kinda back and forth, back and forth, until you seem like you got it pretty much cracked. Then you're gonna remove the plastic wrap, dump the egg out, and then kind of just peel off the shell, and it should come off a lot easier than if you were just doing it normally. So that's uh, pretty cool. Then method number two is called the spoon method. This one's a little bit quicker, but it doesn't leave it as perfect as the shake method does. So what you're gonna do, crack the egg on the, crack the egg on the, on the, on the, what's this called, the countertop, crack the egg on the countertop, peel off a little hole in the back, peel off a little bit of a hole, and then you're gonna stick your spoon straight into that and kind of curve it around, and that's how you do the spoon method. All right, so these next two tricks I have for you are for poaching eggs. That's right, everyone loves a good poached egg with the firm whites and the runny yolk. It's amazing. So for the first one, this is how to make 12 eggs at once, and you're using a muffin tin. I'm only gonna make four for demonstration purposes, but you can make as many as your muffin pan will hold. 
So you'll spoon about a tablespoon of water into each cup of the muffin tin, and then you'll crack your egg right on top. Then put that in the oven at 350 degrees for nine to 10 minutes, take them out, and they should look like this. They should be firm on the outside where the white is, but the yolk should be runny. Serve this over an English muffin or whatever, wherever you like your poached eggs. The second method I have for poaching an egg is for a quick poached egg. What you're gonna do is take a microwave safe bowl that has a lid and then fill that like halfway up with water just enough so that your egg will fit. The more water you add, the longer it's gonna take to become cooked. So then you're gonna crack your egg straight into the middle of the water, pop it in the microwave for, mine took about a minute and a half and it was a little bit under, so maybe two minutes depending on how much water you're in. Just keep checking it to make sure. So then you're gonna take that out and just like with the muffin tin eggs, they should be runny in the middle, but firm on the outside. As you see, mine was just a little undercooked, but if you do it a, bit, a little bit longer, yours should be better. And the final egg hack I have for you today has to do with this plastic bag. So first thing you're gonna do is boil some water. So get that water boiling. You're gonna want pretty much to the top of the pan, but not so much that it'll splatter over. You're gonna open your Ziploc bag and put two to three eggs in, depending on how big your bag is but I usually go for two eggs. And then you're gonna fill it with whatever you want that you would put in an omelet. I know, right? An omelet in a bag. So I'm gonna have a cheese omelet today, but you know, you could put tomatoes, bell peppers, bacon. Make sure they can cook first though, because it won't cook in the egg. So just really whatever you want, whatever you would find in an omelet at any good diner. This is a great trick that I love to use when I'm camping or I don't have access to really like a good even cooktop, I just, it just takes a pot of boiling water, so it's pretty easy to make. So what you're gonna do then, you're gonna stick the bag straight into the pot, cover it, and then 10 minutes later, you're gonna take it out, and you're just gonna eat it from the bag, or pop it onto a plate, or do whatever you want. And it's just really a cool omelet that's really simple to make. Well, those are my egg hacks for you. I hope you enjoyed them as much as I did. Now, do you have any hacks that you want to be featured on the show? Make sure to put them in the comments down below, and I will take a look at them. So, until next time, make sure to like, follow, and subscribe at the underscore chef underscore Jimmy on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm your host, Jimmy Warshawski, so reprise the theme song and roll the end credits. I'll see you next time on Hacks.